Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a tutorial for the look that I'm currently wearing. It's really easy and really fun because I only used one palette, the Revlon Photo Ready Primer and Shadow Palette in 520 watercolors, which is a really fun palette because it comes with a ton of really sparkly, nice purple colors. And I did this whole eye look using just that palette. So if you're interested in learning how I did it, keep watching. So I've already done the base of my face, my foundation, my powder, my concealer, and my brows. So I'm just going to start with my eyes. First thing is I'm going to use a base. I'm going to start with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in color 052 Cool. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid as a base for the shadows. You don't have to use this or you could use a different base if you wanted to. But I like this one because it's got a little bit of glitter and it also helps make the eyeshadow really stand out. It doesn't have to be neat because we're going to be putting shadows on top of it anyway. Now I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Primer and Shadow Palette in the color 520 Watercolors. And on a fluffy brush, I'm going to put this color all over the lid. Then I'll just take a blender brush and blend it out a little bit at the edges. Taking that same blender brush and this light purple color, I'm going to put that all through the crease. I'm then going to take this angled brush and this very dark color and I'm just going to define the outer V in the outer corner of my eye. Then I'll take my crease brush and blend it out a bit. I'm going to take a little bit of that blue on my blending brush just deepen that color out there. I'm then going to take this really stiff paddle brush because it has quite a fine tip and I'm going to take the lid color, this purple sparkly one, and run it underneath the inner half of my lower lash line. Taking that same brush, I'm going to take that very dark blue color and run that on the outer half of my lower lash line. Taking my crease brush, I'm just going to blend out that line on the bottom. Then taking a fine pointed eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take this iridescent pink primer shadow and use it as a brow highlight and an inner corner highlight as well. So that's all for eyeshadows, but this palette comes with a little bit of glitter, a pink glitter. If you want to use that, I'm not going to use it because I think the shadows are sparkly enough as they are, but if you want to, you could use that as a liner or to just make everything a little bit more sparkly, so you have that option as well. For my eyeliner, I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush and my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black, and I'm going to do a very thin but very dark line on the top lash line and I'm not going to wing it out but you have that option if that's what you prefer. To get the line very thin I'm just going to press it into my lash line as opposed to actually drawing a line. For the lower lash line I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Kajal Eyeliner in 001 Black. I absolutely adore this eyeliner range and I highly highly recommend it. I also have the Nude Liner which I use during the day and I love it. I 
And the last thing I'm going to put in my eyes is mascara. I'm just going to use my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, but you can use any mascara you like. You could even use false lashes if you want, but I don't wear false lashes, so I'm not going to use them in this look. So that's it for eyes. I'm just going to pop on a cheek color and a lip color and then I'll be done. On the cheeks, I'm going to use Max Powder Blush in Ripe for Love. This is from the Temperature Rising collection and I love it. It's a beautiful pinky coral color and I think it goes with everything. And then on the lips, I'm going to use Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in 101 Celestial. I bought this recently and I've been absolutely loving it. It's a perfect, neutral, easy to wear pink color. So there you go guys, that's my finished look using only the Revlon Photo Ready Primer and Shadow Palette. I hope you enjoyed watching. I think this is a really fun look if you're going out, like clubbing or to a party or something like that. It's always fun to use color when you're going out at night because you can be a bit more daring with it. I also really like this look because it can be quite glittery if you want it to be. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, bye!